Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and here at The Hanger Project, we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to repair scratched shoes. If you have any questions or comments in this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. It's inevitable with any dress shoe that as you wear them, they're gonna become scuffed or scratched. Most scuffs and scratches can be easily repaired uh, just with a little bit of Saphir shoe polish. So this video, we purchased a pair of Allen Edmonds on eBay for $50. As you can see, they're incredibly scuffed. Now, on eBay, you have so many pairs of Allen Edmonds that are in good condition. There's really no reason to buy anything uh, in such poor condition. I actually had to look harder to find a pair of Allen Edmonds suitable for this video than I would have had to look if I wanted to find a pair in really nice condition. But this shows you kind of the variety of scratches that you can find in a pair of shoes. You have all the way from really deep nicks and scuffs in the toe of these heels, all the way to some kind of lighter scratching and scuffing right here. Again, these are some scratches that happened probably against some concrete, so these are a little bit deeper into the surface of the letter. All the way around to just kind of general discoloration uh, that just happens during the course of any type of normal wear. This represents really kind of the worst condition that you could find a pair of shoes in. And what I'm gonna show you today is that using the Saphir shoe polish, you can rejuvenate even a pair of shoes in such terrible shape. There's two primary Saphir products that you're gonna to wanna to use to repair scuffs and scratches. Which you choose is really a function of how bad the damage is. Now the first line of defense against any scuff or scratch is just a simple Saphir pomadier cream polish. And this is what we recommend here at The Hanger Project for the primary care of your shoes. And the reason is because a cream polish has a higher concentration of those recoloring pigments than a wax polish. So 80% of all scuffs and scratches really can be fixed just by polishing your shoes using the Saphir Pomadier Cream Polish. Now if the scuffs and scratches are deeper, uh, like what you see on the front of these shoes, then you need to use a product that not only is gonna offer that recoloration, but is going to be able to fill and kind of resurface uh, that damage. And Saphir has a product called the Creme Renovatrice uh, or the Saphir Renovating Cream that is perfect for this purpose. What it is is it's a combination of both resins and pigments. Think of the Renovating Repair Cream uh, as that putty. It has pigment that you can match to the polishes, right, so you can recolor, uh, but it's also going to allow you to fill those holes. And then lastly, depending on how bad the damage is, there's a few other tricks that you could use. One is if you see the surface is really smooth or you have pieces of leather hanging off, now you can actually use some really fine grit sandpaper to kind of smooth that surface off to prepare that area to be recolored. Now it's not something that I would recommend going in really hard. If you have a high quality pair of scissors, uh, you can use those scissors uh, to cut off any type of leather that might be hanging off the shoe. In step one, since I really don't know the history of this pair of Allen Edmonds that I purchased off eBay, I'm gonna use the Saphir Reno Mat to really pull off anything that might be on the surface of these shoes. So I'm gonna use this across the entire shoe to really provide that first deep clean to open up the leather and to prepare it to receive the pigments uh, from the Saphir Pomadier Cream Polish. So to apply the Reno Mat, first you wanna shake it, uh, and then you just use a cotton chamois. Uh, this is our Hanger Project cotton chamois. Uh, to apply this uh, just on the leather using a medium to firm pressure because again, you wanna pull anything that's on the surface of this leather off. It's very common for the chamois to actually pull pigment off. That only means that it's working. Now using the Saphir Reno Mat, uh, you wanna to continue to use it until you see that the surface has changed. Uh, you're not looking at the amount of pigment coming off on the chamois as an indication as whether or not you're, uh, you've used it enough. Uh, because again, you're always gonna get a little bit of pigment uh, off of the leather onto the chamois uh, until the point that the shoe is completely stripped. So you don't wanna go crazy, uh, but one or two nice passes along the shoe, you know, using medium to firm pressure uh, will really kind of make sure that this product is pulling anything off that surface. So I've completed cleaning these shoes using the Saphir Reno Mat, and you can really see how, uh, again, by pulling off the polish that was on top of these shoes, it really exposes uh, even further how poor condition these shoes were in. 
Uh, and again, these are a pair of Allen Edmonds. It isn't totally uncommon uh, for the finish of a pair of Allen Edmonds not to be completely stable. Uh, so, you know, you can pull a little bit of that factory finish off. Uh, but here, I think, again, what we're seeing is just where these shoes were scratched or scuffed, you know, pulled that dyed leather off. Now that we've pulled off anything that's sitting on top of that leather that's gonna prevent it from absorbing uh, the pigments and uh, nutrients from the Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish, uh, I'm going to next polish these shoes using the pigmented cream polish. Now the Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish contains three to five times more pigments in it than a standard cream polish. And it does an exceptional job at just recoloring the leather and really concealing any type of minor scuffs and scratches. So I have three possible color matches here for these Allen Edmonds uh, Oxblood shoes. First is the mahogany. And then I have a Bordeaux number eight, which is a burgundy. Uh, and then right here, I have the Hermes red. Now the difference between these three pigments is that the mahogany has more of kind of like a reddish brown. And if I put that on here, you're gonna see it's probably a little too light for these shoes. So I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, and then we have the Hermes Red, which again, I think is probably gonna do the best job really matching these shoes. The Burgundy, or the Bordeaux, uh, really has a lot of purple in it. And as you can see, it's actually darker uh, than the standard pigment in this shoe. So I think that actually the Hermes Red is gonna be our best match here. And then I'm going to really polish these shoes using this Saphir uh, Pomadeur Cream Polish, and we'll see what it does. Now it's not gonna take care of all these scratches, uh, so I just wanna take a first pass with the Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish to show you what that would do uh, before using something uh, even stronger uh, and more permanent like the Saphir Renovating Repair Cream. So I've got some of this on my chamois. And I'm just going to kind of dab this. Okay, so I've allowed the polish to dry. Now I'm gonna buff it off just using this horsehair brush. And you can see with one coat of the Pomadeur Cream Polish, uh, you know, we haven't totally concealed these scratches because it is quite an actual deep scratch. Uh, that removed a lot of that pigment. So this might be an example of a pair of shoes that in order to really fully return these to like a, a like new condition, you're gonna need to actually use a leather dye, uh, which would be a permanent alcohol-based pigment. Uh, but here we're just using the cream polish. I'm gonna apply a few more coats and kind of see how this helps saturate this leather. Uh, it certainly looks better, but it doesn't look new. Um, and again, it's a function of, um, you know, the condition that they were in originally. So let's apply another coat and see where that gets us. So as you can see with this pair of Allen Edmonds, you know, the scratching and the scuffing uh, in the leather is actually quite deep. And so even with the pigmented cream polish, we're not getting a full saturation and able to kind of elevate that color to match the undamaged leather. So there's two different ways that you can take this. You know, here in this case, it actually produces kind of a nice patina, right? Where you have a little bit of natural antiquing, you know, just the result of kind of discoloration over time. Another thing that you can do to again help, uh, help lessen this is to uh, antique the shoes where you would use a darker polish. You know, so here I'm using uh, the burgundy, which, you know, has a little bit more purple in it. It's certainly darker. And uh, you can use that to, again, kind of help produce and develop that patina. So by taking a darker polish uh, on those damaged sections of the shoe, you can kind of darken that area uh, to help conceal the damage. So you can see the before and after shot here. You know, the shoe doesn't look new, but it was in terrible condition. Uh, it certainly does look better. Now next, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Renovating Repair Cream to fill this kind of deeper scuff right here uh, in the toe of the shoe. So here I have some of the Renovating Repair Cream. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of put it into this area. Right. To kind of fill those deeper scuffs. 
but I'm also gonna kind of take this around to some of the areas that have a little bit more discoloration and just kind of conceal that area that's really light. I'm most concerned with it on the toe because um, I want a little bit more blending. The discoloration here on this side of the shoe, I'm okay with that because it, honestly, it just gives it a nice kind of antiquing. We're gonna allow that a few minutes to dry uh, and then we'll polish on top of it. So the renovating repair creams had a little bit of time to dry. It's filled that scratch. I'm just going to do uh, one more coat of cream polish on top of this again to uh, help uh, blend that in. And again, I'm gonna use a little bit of this burgundy just because I'm trying to burnish or kind of antique this area of the shoe. So I'm gonna apply that on, give it a few minutes to dry, and then buff it off one last time. Uh, so here we are. These Allen Edmonds have proved to be a lot more challenging than I anticipated. Uh, you can see that with the Pomadeur Cream Polish and the Renovating Repair Cream, we were really able to reduce uh, as much of the discoloration and the scuffing as possible. Uh, but there's no question that you, you still see scuffing without the shoe. So again, we bought these for less than 50 bucks on, uh, on eBay. Uh, it's quite severe damage to the shoe. Uh, with the cream polish, you can see it looks better uh, than it did whenever we received them. If we were to use a wax, it probably would look uh, even uh, a little bit better. Uh, and so for this shoe, I mean, really what you're going to uh, and what your goal would be is to just reduce the appearance of the discoloration from that scuffing and scratching as much as possible, uh, add a little bit of antiquing or patina, um, and really kind of embrace the condition of these shoes. If you have any questions or comments about anything I discussed in this video, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those comments personally. Now, this will probably be the first in what is a series of videos on how to repair scratch shoes. So check back on the YouTube channel uh, as we'll continuously post additional videos on this particular topic. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you can receive notifications whenever we release new videos. And of course, please take a moment to visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest selection of luxury garment care and shoe care products in the world, as well as other products for the well-dressed. While there, please sign up for our newsletter so that you can receive notifications whenever we launch new products, run promotions, as well as our weekly digest of videos that we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and thanks for joining us.